Why are you bullish? What are the bullish signs that you're seeing? I've seen this movie before. Um, the time to be putting capital to work is when there's blood rushing through the streets. And that's happening in crypto right now. All of these uh, bankruptcies, defaults, changes in management, it's a cleansing that's going on. It's a very difficult time to fund new projects. And any valuations that people thought they were going to get four months ago are being cut in half, sometimes down 60%. Shark Tank celebrity and popular crypto advocate Kevin O'Leary is not overwhelmingly concerned about the ongoing crypto bear market. In fact, the renowned investor believes this is an opportunity like no other. In a recent interview, he details why investors should be pumping money into cryptocurrencies since prices are so low. According to O'Leary, the current state of the crypto market should be taken as a big opportunity because the next bull market will be even bigger. Once a crypto critic, the Canadian businessman is now one of the biggest advocates of the cryptocurrency industry. He bought his first Bitcoin in 2017 and has continued to invest in various crypto assets and related projects, with around 20% of his operating capital tied up in various crypto tokens and projects. As he does with his other investment portfolio, O'Leary preaches sufficient diversity when investing in the cryptocurrency market, which he believes will eventually become the 12th sector of this NP. In his interview, O'Leary, popularly known as Mr. Wonderful, discusses some ongoing events that show how much of a big opportunity the crypto space is. He also discusses institutional adoption, crypto regulation, and the state of the entire digital asset space. We will now take you to Kevin O'Leary's interview. But before we do, please take a little time to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to drop your comments and observations in the comments section below. We appreciate your immense contributions to the channel's growth. Thanks and enjoy the video. But the good ideas and the, the way to look at this, in my view, and, and I'm, you know, I'm fortunate, I, I spent a lot of time teaching graduating cohorts of engineers, uh, you know, MIT, Waterloo, uh, Temple, wherever they, they are, Harvard Business School guys. When you meet those cohorts, a third of the class are entrepreneurial. And so I'm doing this selfishly. I like to see their projects before the VCs do. So I'm sitting in the class and we go out for beer afterwards, whatever. Here's what I've come to. I've, I've come to this realization. If you ask them where they want to work, these are the brightest men and women on earth. To get into MIT, you basically need a perfect math score. Mm -hmm. They don't care what country you were born in. You, you've got to be the best of the best. And some of those dudes are very eclectic people, I have to tell you. They don't want to work in manufacturing anymore. They don't want to work in the existing 11 sectors of the S&P. They want to work on the chain. They believe that the biggest opportunity for them personally is to work in this nascent space that, you know, and, I, and the analogy would be back at the beginning of the internet when only pornography was streamed. That was it. We're at that stage now. And so my argument is to any investor, you can't pour that much intellectual capital into a space and not expect extraordinary outcomes because those are the people that are going to redefine industries using this technology. I believe that and I invest in them. And that's why it's good to put money to work now because every day another cohort comes out. Um, remarkably, we're doing some pretty stupid things. We're, we're throwing them out of the country. They, they stay here, mm -hmm. but they go and work in the Caribbean islands or the United Arab Emirates, wherever they can go to, they're the best of the greatest and the best, and we kick them out. That's nuts. It's a different problem. But the investment thesis is you go where the intellectual capital is going. That's why a 20% allocation of crypto at this point, at these prices, is a very good idea. I think we're at a phase now where we've stalled out. I talked about the price of Bitcoin. It's not, it, it's not going to go over $22,000 till we have regulation. There's just no capital to, to move it. It's going to be stuck in this trading range 18 to 22 for two years until whatever the Commodities Act gets, gets done or whatever. And you have to realize that. Now, I will say there's capital still going into Bitcoin miners because they're getting awarded coin at seven to 8,000 if they have scale. So it's still profitable, but nobody will fund the, the early miners that used carbon-based electricity. So those guys are screwed. It's too bad. But the new projects are ones that are using hydroelectric in places like Norway or solar or... Um, so there, there's, still, there's still places for capital to go to work. But there's a pause for policy. Mm -hmm. and, and it's 
Never has the anticipation been higher than it is now. IRA allow you to save for retirement in a tax advantage way for greater financial security with lots of tax advantages. But most IRA offer the same boring stocks and bonds. Introducing iTrust Capital, the number one crypto IRA platform in America. iTrust Capital allows cryptocurrency investors like you to enjoy all the exciting benefits of tax advantage retirement accounts. It combines the traditional IRA with the new, exciting world of cryptocurrencies. Why should you use iTrust Capital? It is the best crypto retirement platform in America, with some of the lowest fees of any cryptocurrency IRA platform. It gives investors adequate exposure to some of the top cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, and Polkadot. You can buy and sell all your favorite crypto assets while enjoying amazing tax-free gains. It is adequately secured by Coinbase custody with a $320 million insurance to protect against theft. You can easily roll over an existing retirement account or begin a new one when you register on iTrust Capital. iTrust Capital is the trusted crypto IRA for many American investors who love the crypto industry. To join the millions of Americans who use the platform, please click on the link in the description box below. Everybody is getting bored with the status quo. And the U.S. has to wake up and get its poo-poo together and start regulating this stuff. So I'm, I'm not in the camp that says we need to, to placate you know, the original founders of crypto and decentralize and let's fight the government. Screw all that. that we, know, we know that that's not going to work. And we know that no one's going to make any money if that's the case. That's a bad outcome. The better outcome is regulate the applications on the chains that should be regulated. The policy exists for some of it. Put policy out on stable coins first. I hope that we consider Bitcoin and, and other token-based opportunities commodities. If there's, you know, if we're going to fractionalize NFTs, maybe there are securities. There's all this stuff. But right now, what we have is turf wars. Turf wars between the regulators, openly declaring turf wars with each other right this morning on CNBC. You, you, no, it's my domain. No, it's my domain. Of course they want to control it. But at some point, the role of the Hill and Congress is to decide, mm -hmm. make a decision. It won't be perfect. Uh, in the case of stablecoins right now, what's, what held up that bill with the states, they're not happy. Well, tough. We got to get this thing done and we got to move on. And, and you know, we can tweak it but it's very frustrating at this point. And I think I, I, I speak for a lot of people the same way from the institutional side. It's time to get our act together. I mean, we're gonna keep losing talent. People are gonna go work, you know, on some Caribbean island, not where they should be in, you know, in, in the United States. This is very important stuff and we shouldn't be losing our talent because we can't regulate it. That sounds dumb. Let us know your thoughts on Kevin O'Leary's interview in the comments section below. In other news, a recent survey published by Finder.com shows that around 46% of fintech and crypto specialists believe Ether is currently undervalued and could fall even lower before the year ends. The panelists of around 55 crypto and fintech specialists predict that the Layer 1 token will drop to $963 this year and end the year at $1,377 per token. However, they are slightly more bullish in the long term, predicting that the native token of the Ether blockchain will hit over $5,000 by 2025 and around $11,727 per unit by 2030. More of the panelists, around 46%, believe that the crypto asset is undervalued compared to 31% who say it is fairly priced and 23% who say it is overpriced. Those who believe it is undervalued believe the transition to proof of stake has made the network and its native token more valuable and secure, especially because of the significantly reduced energy use. Others who say the asset is fairly priced believe the Ether ecosystem needs to undergo more upgrades for greater scalability, transaction speed, and cost efficiency. The survey also shows that Ether has won some points from bureaucrats and environmentalists because of the merge, but it has lost points for being less decentralized now than before the merge. According to Tommy Honan, the head of strategic partnerships at Swift's Ether validator rights are concentrated in the hands of a few entities, which could give Bitcoin more edge over Ether. Early statistics on the concentration of staking validators is quite concerning, Honan said. Five or so entities in the U.S. account for around 64% of stake Ether globally. Although I believe this will level out over time, it means the merge event further contributed to the centralization of Ether, another card for the Bitcoin maximalists to hold over its closest rival. He added, what are your thoughts on the Finder Specialist survey? Do you think Ether is undervalued, fairly priced, or overpriced? Let us know what you think in the comments section below.
Also, ensure you drop your comments and observations on Kevin O'Leary's video, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.